And unfortunately, 9-11, which most apologists for the U.S. government, particularly national security establishment, refuse to accept even to this day, was a fundamental failure to protect people and keep them out of harm's way. People forget that almost 300 foreign nationals or approximately 300 foreign nationals were actually murdered on the same day, uh, 9-11. It wasn't just Americans, right, slash U.S. citizens. Um, and it never should have happened. I'll just say it that way. So it's it, historically, it was a significant event. It still continues to reverberate. Um, you know, we're now going on, what, 17 years uh, since that fateful day. Um, for me, it's history, but the history continues to unfold. But it also was the basis for my whistleblowing uh, within the system for a number of years before I ultimately made the fateful decision to go to the press some years later. So, yeah, you asked about 9-11. Um, the day I could, I could probably... I would probably detail every passing second of that day from the time I got up to the time I fitfully went to sleep and then woke up very, very early in the morning calling in and they said, yeah, Tom, you better, you better. I was actually one of the thousands because I was brand new. I was not part of a crisis response team. Clearly this was not just a normal crisis that NSA had experienced in the past, but uh, tragically it became a trigger event for a whole host of extraordinarily high level decisions, strategic decisions that were made up to and including the president of the United States in the intervening days, weeks, and months that would have enormous uh, impact, enormous consequences um, downstream. And I, and I knew that. I knew what I was privy to, what I, you know, the dirty knowledge that I continue to hold to this day. Um, it, it was not going to, it would not be pleasant for history that the decisions that the U.S. made in secret never should have been made in the manner in which they were made. That includes both mass surveillance, that includes the uh, torture uh, regime that was put into place shortly after 9 11, um, and a number of other critical decisions in which essentially the United States declared the entire globe a battlefield and they could go anywhere at any time against anyone.